Ahoy mateys, and welcome back to Trick Bricks. I'm Jamie, and today we're going to continue our 30th Anniversary Pirates retrospective series by taking a look at set number 6257, Castaway's Raft. Released in 1989, this set contains 54 pieces, includes 3 minifigures, and retailed for $8.50 in the US. I have the instructions, although they're pretty short and to the point. No alternate builds here, but I do love the classic product photography, and I'm always happy to see this old yellow Legoland stripe. Anyway, let's put these to good use and see what we get. I was going on four years of age when this was released, but if I'd been a little older and more aware, this set would definitely have been on my wish list, despite its small size. Why, you might ask? Not only is this a neat little raft, of the 54 pieces here, 16 were either brand new prints or entirely new element molds for 1989, so when this hit shelves, it was an excellent way to expand your part selection for a pretty reasonable price. I'll be sure to highlight some of those new parts as we take a closer look. Once again, we're given a good selection of pirate minifigs to boost our crew, and three for a set of this size and price point was excellent. All of these prints were brand new at the time. You've got the twins with their mustaches, bandanas, and striped shirts, and they're each given cutlasses and firearms to wield, which were also new elements for 89. I like the idea of the Jolly Roger clipped to the musket, although I'm not sure how practical that would be while trying to take a shot in the ocean breeze. And then we've got what appears to be the leader of the castaways with his tricorn hat, blue jacket, and white pants. He's given the map tile to help lead them back to their home port. And hopefully they're not too far away from said port because there's not a whole lot of room to move around on this thing. Buoyancy is provided by a small barrel at each corner, although I'm pretty sure this thing isn't going to float in your bathtub, so you'll just have to use your imagination in that regard. As you can see, you do get a bit of rolling action, but it seems to me like it should be going in this direction. I've never been lost at sea on a raft though, so I could be wrong about that. The deck is just 12 by 4 when measured in studs, so again, there's just enough room here to fit your three castaways. You've got a spare flintlock clipped to the mast here, which is a nice little touch, and the mast itself is adjustable, as is the yard. I would have preferred to have seen a cloth sail here, but these white flag pieces do a decent job of representing a tattered makeshift sail. And since three guys just floating around on a raft could be considered kinda dull, we're given something to kick up the action. Once again, a brand new element upon this set's release, this classic dark gray shark is cruising alongside our pirates, just biding his time. His jaw is articulated, and while the mouth isn't big enough to swallow a minifig whole, it can still open wide enough for him to get a little snack. To this day, it's still a pretty cool thing to have in the collection, even though it's been updated throughout the years with a different head mold and printing. And really, that's about it. One thing about the pirate theme is that it offered a ton of sets in this size and price range, so it was fairly easy to build up a collection a little at a time. And the Castaways Raft was, and still is, a great little set. It's not amazing by any means, and if I were ranking all of the 1989 sets, which I may actually do a video of at some point, it would probably fall somewhere in the middle. Not a must-have unless you're a completist, but not something you're going to regret purchasing either. That said, the current second-hand value seems to be about $15 to $20 for this. Unless it was in absolutely mint condition, I probably wouldn't pay more than $15. Sealed copies, as is the case for most sets from this era, command quite a bit more, generally going for $100 plus. Since I already had the spare minifigs and shark, 
I brick linked this one together for about five bucks, so that's always an option as well. But that's all I've got for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be back soon with episode 4 of the 30th Anniversary Pirates Retrospective series, and it's going to be a pretty cool one. Until then, this has been Jamie for Trick Bricks. As always, thanks for watching, take care, and play well! Thank you.